we got a new toy. Pecron sent us this solar panel. A month and a half or so ago, we actually reviewed a, a power station uh, that we got from Pecron. We purchased, it's the piece uh, 600, 600 watt power station. And we knew that we would actually want to add solar as a charging option uh, to that power station. Currently the options are you can charge it through the DC plug when you're driving uh, in the vehicle or you can actually plug it into a, like an AC outlet uh, if you have shore power at camp or you're at, at, at a home and wall outlet uh, and it's fast charging. But we wanted to have another option when we're out at the campsite and not having to rely on an electrical hookup. So we knew we wanted a solar panel. We didn't know how soon we'd get it. We sent our review to Pecron of the power station and they liked it. So they offered to send us this solar panel free of charge if we'd put up another video. So we agreed to do that. Do want to disclose that we are not uh, affiliated or employed or being paid outside of getting this product for free. Uh, this is not going to be a technical video review of anything. It's just going to be more of a, a practical overview of our experience with this panel. And we will go over the panel itself and the features and, and specifications. Currently, these are the devices that we, we want to keep charged. So we're hoping the addition of this solar panel will actually help us to maintain a charge so our battery never drains. Let's take a look at the panel. Um, it's actually a fabric type material. It's briefcase style, so it folds. And it's three sections. We'll open it up in a moment. Uh, it does include grommets, so I guess you could hang this from something if you wanted to or for us if we ever leave it on the top of the van while we're charging we may put a cable through this to lock it uh, just to make it a little more secure it has a nice handle for carrying and it has this pouch on the back side of it inside the pouch is the welcome guide three different adapters so you can adapt to whatever you might need to plug into. This is a USB port so you can actually charge USB devices right off the solar panel. And then it has this MPPT controller cable, charge cable. This is actually 16 gauge and it's about just a little over three feet when measured. Has a DC mail plug. The dimensions of the panel while it's folded are 21 and 1 quarter inch wide by 13 and 3 quarter inch tall. If you include the handle it's about 16 inches tall and the product is actually just about 2 inches thick. This is actually Pecron's Aurora 100 100 watt solar panel. It's 18 volt. When you open, there are a few additional specifications right on the top flap. It actually unfolds quite easily. Uh, there are two legs that Velcro, so when you want to fold it back up, they don't come undone. They actually have a rubberized type of stretch uh, material here so you can have various angles when you're trying to maximize the sun absorption uh, from this. And, so there's two of them that hold this up when you have it set up. And it basically just try unfolds. These are monocrystalline cells. And a couple additional grommets here as well. So if you want to hang, there's more options or more options for securing. Okay, so the, in North Carolina right now, it's mid-October. The sun is probably not at its strongest. Uh, this time of year, but it's also not at its weak, weakest. The conditions today, it's a clear blue sky and it's just before 11 a.m. Eastern time. We set up this panel just so you could see exactly what it's pulling for wattage and actually it's pulling about 70 watts right now, which is actually awesome. Uh, there's nothing plugged into it uh, pulling a charge from it. It's totally just charging from the sun right now at about 70 watts and that is with the, um, and this, this is the, uh, the wattage right here. And that's with the standard three foot MPPT charger cord plugged into it. 
So for comparison purposes, we actually did buy an additional extension cord because in reality, we're not gonna be pulling the power station out of the van to charge it. We're actually gonna pull a sour, the solar panel out of the van and run it on a long enough cord so everything can stay in the van as is without pulling too many things out. So the, the one concern when you start running longer cables is a loss of transfer. This is a 20 foot cable. And actually we will link to everything. All these products we'll put links to in the description below. So what we did is we plugged the 20 foot extension cable in. We've changed nothing else other than just plugging that cord. And, and right now we're pulling about 57 to 60 watts. So you're probably looking at it somewhere around maybe a 12, a 10% uh, drop in wattage, which for me is a, is a fair trade off to gain functionality and not having to pull all these components out of the van when you need to charge. We've been using this product for a few weeks now in all kinds of different conditions from clear blue skies to purely overcast and cloudy conditions just to see how this thing would perform. And overall, we're actually very uh, impressed with the performance of the product. You can actually get the product through Pecron's website for, I think it's $249 right now. Uh, a couple things we do have learned through you know, researching this and using it is obviously you always want to have it tilted so it's square with the sun so you can maximize uh, absorption and energy transfer. We actually also use a free app called Solar Tilt uh, that is GPS uh, driven and it knows your location and it will actually tell you the best angle to have this positioned at and when you use the app you basically just hit a button on the app and it acts as a level so you can level it to the degree you have to have it tilted at. So that actually we find has been um, beneficial. What we really like about this product, uh, Pecron's Aurora 100, is, well, first of all, it's size. Very compact, when it's folded, you're talking a thickness of less than two inches or around two inches at max. So it really does stow in the van nice uh, and discreetly. It's, it's fairly lightweight, it's about just under 10 pounds, so it's very portable. You can you can carry it around. Makes it easy to stow, especially if it's in a tight tight spot. We feel that the pricing on this model is very uh, competitive and fair. It's actually a pretty good bang for the buck uh, when you consider some of the other products out there for more money. It does seem to be very efficient. You know, on a really solid sunlight day, we're pulling in somewhere around 70 watts uh, into this thing. So it makes for quick charging, which we really really like. What I would like to see perhaps uh, be a little different, <laughs> the length of the cable, if it could be a little longer, might be a, a bit of an improvement as well. However, we did buy a 20 foot extension and we're not really experiencing a lot of transfer loss on that. So uh, that's it's performing to our expectations or beyond, even with the cable. And the last thing I would just like to point out, I, we love the fabric of this, it's really nice. Um, it might be nice that if it had maybe some kind of a, a hard plastic edging or something, just so when you're setting this in the dirt, it's less uh, prone to maybe any type of scraping and, and easier to clean. But none of this uh, uh, negatively impacting our satisfaction with this product. We, we think we got a, you know, a really nice um, option to charging with the sun now. We're excited to take it on the road. We hope our videos inspire you and we wanna thank you as always for watching.